Hey there, I'm Patrick. Welcome to Tech Edge. We've seen some computers installed in wild places over the years. With the increasing need for computers to live outside of the home or office, preventing damage from vibration is an increasingly common concern, particularly with industrial computer users. Today, we're going to share six tips that can help you create a vibration-resistant PC. So let's shake things up. If you need to put a computer in a location where it will be knocked around, vibrated constantly, or just shaken every which way, like on a forklift, in a metal stamping facility, or in a vehicle, these are things you can do to protect your hardware and the information on it. Any one of these tips can help, but if you're able to do all six, even better. Tip one, go solid state. First and foremost, the easiest thing to do is replace all the hard drives in your computer with solid state drives, or SSDs for short. While you can get shock pads to mitigate vibration effects, traditional platter-based hard drives are still very sensitive to impacts. The platter is where your valuable data is stored and swift blows can cause damage to that platter. Constant shaking may also throw the read and write heads out of alignment. SSDs have no moving parts and are perfect to take the shake. However, cables that connect SSDs to your system are another matter, which brings us to... Tip two, minimize cables. Cable connections are a key point of failure inside your PC, so remove any and all unnecessary cables. If it's not in use, get rid of it. If it's a multi-function cable and you don't use all the functions, replace it. If you aren't using zip ties or other strain relief, it's time to start. Use them to connect various free-floating cables together and minimize movement. But beware, bundling cables is a fine art in and of itself. You want it taut, but not too taut. Also, locking connections on cables wherever possible is a huge plus. Tip three, ditch the fan the right way. Speaking of few removing parts, go fanless. As a quick and easy way to remove a point of failure, this ranks right up there with removing platter drives. In a vibration prone environment, a fan is often one of the first parts to fail. Whether it's an unexpected impact that immediately breaks the fan or a constant vibration that slowly warps it. When the fan goes, your system is soon to follow. Going fanless isn't as simple as taking the fan out of your computer. It actually requires a motherboard designed to stay cool, combined with heat pipes, heat sinks, thermal paste, and other passive cooling methods that draw the heat out of the case to be dispersed in the surrounding environment. So take that into account when selecting a board and or system. Tip four, choose your board wisely. Put aside IO and processing power for a moment and let's focus on a motherboard's capacity to resist vibration. First, look at the size of the motherboard and more specifically the distance between the points that it connects to the case. Greater distance between the mounting points can allow for more displacement of the board during shock and vibration. Greater displacement in turn induces greater strain on board components like ICs, connectors, passive components, as well as traces. Smaller form factors like mini ITX have closer screws than an ATX or micro ATX board. Fanless boards will also tend to have a heat pipe which rests on the board and a pad under the board. This creates an additional anchor point and is another good argument for going fanless. Keep an eye out for certain motherboards designed from the ground up to resist vibration. These feature stiffer materials, fewer components that might shake themselves loose or break, strategically placed rubber bumpers, and power supplies that can take a pounding. However, the best motherboard in the world with the best drives and cabling still needs to go into a good case. Tip five, use an industrial enclosure. Selecting a good chassis is the second to last big hurdle to creating a vibration resistant PC. Start with a look at the case design. When it comes to dealing with vibration, as we stated earlier, the stiffer, the better. If it's not stiff enough, the case and the motherboard can begin vibrating at different frequencies, which can be disastrous and usually makes plastic cases a non-starter. When considering a metal case, how it's designed will tell you a lot. Folded metal is superior in rigidity to multiple pieces of metal screwed together. For example, a single piece of extruded aluminum being both the primary structural feature and the primary cooling surface removes multiple potential failure points while providing the necessary rigidity. The more parts there are to the case, the more chances there are for it to have room to move. Finally, look at the placements of the mounting brackets. If the chassis you are looking at doesn't mount easily, just walk away. Tip six, location, location, location. Imagine a PC sitting on top of a washing machine in motion, shaking all over the place. If you place your hand on it, it'll move less violently. 
This is what mounting a PC does. By attaching it to a larger object, even if that object is in motion, it reduces the vibration and potential impact forces. Even so, you need to pick the right spot with the least vibration. With specially designed mounts like vibration isolation mounting kits, vibration forces can be further mitigated. So all in all, vibration is a serious issue. An unprepared PC can be torn apart by even the smallest of persistent movements. You'll probably never be able to say that your PC is vibration proof, but there's plenty you can do to mitigate the risks. Hopefully these six tips help you reduce the effects of vibration on your PC. If you have any other tips, share them in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss future episodes. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next Tech Edge.